Gospel Voices, and um, we're from the Miller Evangelical Christian Union Church, 1110 President Street, between Rogers and Medford, with Pastor Justin Lockhart is our pastor. And it's a pleasure being here with you today, sharing the stage with our good friend Michael. And we, uh, you know, this is a, supposed to be a happy time. We celebrated the birth of Christ. So we're going to bring a couple of happy songs. And if you know any one of them, just join with us. Just let's have a good time. Number one, please.
Merry Christmas! 
and it's a privilege and a privilege and an honor indeed for me to be here. My name is Carl Molecki Jesse, but this evening is not about me. It's about the color of red at Christmas. And you know, this is the first time for me right here in St. Leonard's Church, Anglican Church. And I would, I would say though, I mean, they say there are a few empty pews, but it's a beautiful crowd. I mean, you don't want anybody rubbing up to you, you know what I'm saying? But praise God. Give yourself a big round of applause. I'm sorry for being late. But of course, you know radio. I, I see Darlene Brown looking at me through the corner of his eye and saying, who is this guy? Darlene, you know, how are you? <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to give it up for apostles, ap apostolic voices and the man himself, Darlene Brown, for a second time. You know, Darlene, that, that was not fear. That was not fear. That, that wasn't fear at all. You, you know, you, you scooped me. You know, you know, I was running late. And you, and you still you still started the show. I mean, I didn't hear anything. I just heard one song. Anybody want to sit back on the stage again? Because perhaps we're going to have to bring them back on stage later on. In the meantime, we do that. We've got a back evening for you. And before you go anything, do anything else or say another word, I want to say for those of you who know him, Neville Bush said hi. Does anybody know Neville Bush? There you go. The Bush, but I'm not filling in for the Bushman this evening because I'm, I'm somewhat of a recluse and just go to work and then go home. <laughs> but basically he told me that, you know, Carl, you're going to have to get out there and get to know the people. Because there's so many times that I have, and he's missing this evening, God rest, God bless him wherever he's at. And Mr. Sid Gollop, does anybody know Sid Gollop? There you go. Well, Sid always comes, whenever Sid Leonard is having anything, Sid Gollop comes and say, Carl, you know what you got to do. He doesn't say do this to me. You know what you got to do. In other words, you know you're a member of the family. And it's a real pleasure for me to be here from the bottom of my heart for the first time among anybody here from Barbados? Yeah. There you go. How about Trinidad? Any Trinidad? Do we have any Jamaicans in the house? Yeah. Whoa, don't tell me this is a real pro. How about Vincentians then? Let me get down to the Caribbean. Anybody from Guyana? Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Give some noise in the place. This is a cause of here to be married. It's the call of red at Christmas, please. <laughs> there you go. I, 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 I see your honor, your, the man of the moment, the, the honorable host, the one, the only, the inimitable. I call him the, because nobody. You know what? If, if, if he was around at Rudy Boyce's time, that would have been an excellent baritonic um, collaboration. That would be the awesome twosome. Because he sounds a lot better than anyone else I've ever known coming from the Barbados. The voice is, is there. The tone is there, the respect is there, the voice, the hospitality is there. You know, we've got to give it up for the man who put us all together, Mr. Michael Reed! Mm. Yeah, let's not let me see that fancy suit. In the meantime, between time, you know, I know it's Christmas and you want to you want to go home and finish your shopping list, you want to go home and you want to make sure you make that extra call. So I'm not gonna be a big do a big bag along talking. You're not going to hear any jokes from me this evening because here's what, one time I was in this audience, I remember when I first came here trying to MC, and I'm looking in the crowd, you know, and I say, oh, the crowd is restless, everybody's late, they are, as a matter of fact, it was a Gil Brilliant for our presentation, and uh, this guy, you know, I, I'm looking, trying to find a final joke, and I'm trying my best to get this joke out, right, to tell this joke, and this guy goes, this Bajan voice in the back goes, anybody go on, search late? <laughs> so I said, what are you talking about? He says, because you can't find that joke in the dark end. <laughs> so basically, I don't tell jokes. I'm not gonna end up, I don't have a punchline. I'm a straight up announcer, radio personality, television personality, and basically I stick to the, the matter at hand. So let's do it. Let's get to the matter at hand. I want you to keep some noise in here. Who's next? Who's next? Mr. Andy Yu, people, ladies and gentlemen, give him whoa! This is Mr. Technique himself. <laughs> Who's next, Andy? Don, oh, yes, I've been dying to see this guy because I call his name a flavor. I have never ever met him. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you know him, but for me, for the first time, let's put some noise together up in here and welcome the one, the only, Darling! Give it, give it up, give it up. Well, after all that, Darling ain't gonna show up, you know he's like, okay. Oh my God, how's mercy. See, if it was a sneak, it would have bit me and I'd be, well, it's the church, so I can't say what. Mr. Brown. I figured that you'd say that. <laughs> good evening to you, sir. Yeah, good evening. The mic is yours, do what you like. Yes. Down here, Brown. When they get younger, I'm going to sing like you guys. <laughs> I'm going to do the song freehand, and then the second song I have to read, because it's a new song to me. <laughs> Yeah. 
Ginger and a lady, a promise and a song. First to grab for any mind to hold. A law and a journey, a stable and some straw. Please tell the greatest story ever told. A blaze of blinding light Angel singing carol in the cold Eternal revelation To man the skull and stone The greatest glorious story ever told Bow before this awesome mystery. Mighty God and fragile baby, here alone in manger hold. And this is the greatest story ever told. Whispers in 
the tree And the walls of doubt Crumble, toss and torn This comes to pass When a child is born He's also helped, he also helped to form that amazing band Crossfire. Like I mean, any major doesn't know. Crossfire is the biggest one, the biggest who's ever come on the Barbados and Sparrow. And of course, he's also fun at the Apollo and with Harold Melvin and the Luna. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let me introduce you to the one, the only Mr. It's a pleasure to be here. I know this, this is the season all of our love. And I want to get a little closer to y'all. Is that okay with you? Yes. Smile. I want to see everybody happy, man. This is such a good time. I love Christmas. Me too. I love Christmas. I mean, I hold, but I still love Christmas. <laughs> so we're going to enjoy ourselves. And here's a little change for you, but it's still all about love. So here's a couple of songs I'm going to do for you. Sing it as well. You can sing. You're a good singer, man. It's 
chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. You dark hound being sung by a choir and folks dressed to fly. Eskimo. Everybody knows a turkey and some mistletoe. Helps to make a season bright. Tiny tops with their eyes all glow will find it hard to sleep. Tonight. They know that Santa on his sleigh. He loaded lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh. And every modest child is gonna spy to see a friend. Really know how to fly, and so I'm offering that simple phrase to kids from one to nine to two. And all that they say, many times, many ways, Merry Christmas. You know, I haven't had a Christmas in Barbados for over 34 years. That's a long time. But I gotta make a track back. I really love the love in Barbados. You know, here it's a little different. I remember the time running from house to house just to, you know, get a piece of what we call pudding. They call it cake here. <laughs> Simple phrase to kiss from one to nine to two, and all the words have been said many times, many ways. Merry Christmas to you. So now, no, this, this song is a little different, it's more, I know people go through things, but it's Christmas time, during the course of the year we go through all kinds of stuff. But here's a song for a pickup song, you know, it's all about the same. I, I ain't gonna touch it. <laughs> See, I ain't touch it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, this is one of my favorite songs, so I want to leave you with this, this is how song. When I am on your shore 
us forgive us Lord we didn't know you was sweet little Jesus boy for a long time ago
Everybody in this place sing the blessing. Let me hear it. Say yes. There you go. We are truly blessed. We are privileged to have a voice like that. Look, look where she's performed, people. I mean, the Bronx Opera, Opera Collective, which is all over the world. Um, the New Rochelle Opera and the Amazonian Baptist Choir. Now, I know, I know how many of you know what about because you may be good, but I don't know if churches compete. Not supposed to, but hey, Abyssinian Baptist Choir. Anybody ever heard of uh, Abyssinian Baptist Church? There you go. What remarkable choir! Trust me. Because I've never seen this place. 
<laughs> Put it up for me, and that's a shame, isn't it? I want you to welcome, and on a serious note now, I want you to really welcome our Consul General to Barbados at New York, Mr. John Blackman. How are you? Where are you? Oh, my feet are right under my nose. Oh, wait, is, it, is that you? No, no, he doesn't want to tell you who we are. Excuse me, please. Mr. John Blackman, please stand up and give the brother. A little power, you know what I'm saying? Come on. <laughs> Make him up, fellas. Our Consul General. Okay, good. Oh, 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 consul that name, name. Oh, it's about, oh the consul general. What's that? No, no, you know what? We're we, we, we standing for a good Yeah, I'm the consul, not the consul general. The consul is boss. I don't want to usurp his role yeah, today. I see that. Yes. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, as most of you know, I went through a very trying time recently. Yes, yes. I lost my wife in September. Oh, and yes. Michael invited me to the consul. Mm -hmm. And he knew that I'm going back to Barbados any month for good. So I knew it was a very busy time. And I said, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it because I'm busy doing a lot of stuff. And because all the things that I have to do to get back home, my wife would normally do. I'll do it myself. So, and I'm not very good. I have two left hands. Most of us don't know what that means. I have two left hands, right? I can't do many things with, things with my hands. So, if you, put, if you put it in a book, fine. But if it's practical, I can't do it. So, anyhow, the Lord had with me through and through all the time. And I've had a lot of support from people in this, people you see here, in this here, a lot of good support. Amen. Here and Amen. See the several rounds of applause. I say, oh. I say, you know what? Let me put down this concert. Let me, it's just a few days before Christmas, a few days before you leave. Let me put it down. Right. So I only call Michael, I think, on Friday mm. to tell him I'll be coming. Yes. And I really enjoy myself. There you go. Because yeah. Christmas is my favorite time of the year, it my wife's favorite time of the year. And it brings him back to all those songs you used to listen to. There you go. The Nat King Cole Christmas album. The, um, the Merry Men. The Merry Men, the Drake Tens too. Just name them. Um, mm -hmm. Temptations, Jacksons, yeah. etc. Yeah. Um, Johnny Mathis. That's good, yes. That's Johnny Mathis. You know? So I'm really pleased to be here and I'm really enjoying myself. All the best to you. Thank you for all your assistance for the last three years. We do things special. Amen. Different. We do things special. Very special. A friend of mine told me, I spent five years in England, 95 to 2000. When an Englishman invites you to his house, if he invites four people, he'll do five pork chops. <laughs> <laughs> so his sick people turn up, you're in trouble. When a West Indian does things, yes. you know, it's a different. At Christmas time, you know, if you have a family of five, you can feel 15 at Christmas time. We do things. We West Indians, Jamaicans, Trinidad, all of us, we do it differently right. and special. So I'm glad to see everybody. I said, remember we read as well? No, this is Burgundy by again. <laughs> I'm not back with those things. But I'm glad to see so many people wearing red. Yellow is actually my favorite color. But I'm glad to see this gentleman here in yellow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, have a, I have a practice at work. Anybody that wears yellow, I buy lunch for them. Well, somebody, somebody has pays. <laughs> <laughs> I buy somebody has pays, right? So I'm glad to see all of you be there in your sartorial splendor. Festoon this evening. And yeah, I won't say it. Thank you very much. That's the man himself. Do you say you return to Barbados for good? Well, your you, 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 you assignment ends here. Yes. Well, it's been an honor to have you. You, you know, you're one of the more down to earth, more realistic of the consuls. And uh, they've had some really, really, really chewed up ones here. You know, they, you know, you, they were unapproachable. You never find them here. You know, you always have to be something big. But who cares? You're here now. This is gentlemen, give it up for the man himself, Mr. Blackman, John Blackman. When it comes to Neville Bush myself and any radio personality, people like Double R and all those people, they say when you say when you mention the name Michael Reese in Beijing circles, it doesn't matter what level of life you want, what strata society you're in, it's something called respect. You step back and you say, sure, I know Michael, but that's where you end it because you can't even trust me, up to the night, up to now, I cannot fathom where this man is gonna end up, what he's gonna end up doing with the voice that he's got, with the potential he's got, with the kind of charisma he deliver, delivers. He's gonna deliver it to you right now, right now on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the man of the moment, the man of the hour. I want you to give it up, for real, give it up for the one, the only, Mr. Michael.
keeping watch over the flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around about them, and they were so afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David, the Savior, which is Christ the Lord. It will lead to the place 
where Christ is born. Rise up, shepherd, and follow. Lead your sheep and lead your lambs. Rise up, shepherd, and follow. Lead your mules and lead. Rise up, shepherd, and follow. Christ is born. Oh, 
the king of kings, let us in all in danger, in all our trials, for to be our friend. He will bring us the 
Thank you. God is good. Amen. I'm going to get my artists joining in this last song, Joy to the World. Everyone knows that. Let earth receive her King, let every heart be bare in room, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the world, the Savior. Let men their songs implore While fields and floods, while fields and graves We beat the sound in joy, we beat the sound in joy We beat the sound in joy Tell me you can't my life. 